Hey guys, this is Luz Canada from Sleek Lens. Today I have a tutorial from the Portrait Perfections collection. I'm going to be showing you how to use the Photoshop actions in this collection to retouch facial features and skin. So we're going to be talking about how to kind of smooth out skin and we're going to brighten eyes, lips, and I'm going to show you guys how to contour as well. So I have this photograph pulled up and I'm just going to go ahead and start. The first thing I'm going to do before I go into my actions is I'm actually going to open the actions first. So I'm going to my Windows tab, Actions, and I already have my Portrait Perfection actions loaded here. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the background and I'm going to duplicate this layer. And what I'm going to do is, this isn't an action, but it's just a general Photoshop tool that comes in handy, is the Healing Brush tool, which looks like a little band-aid here. And I have got it set it on Normal, Sampled, and I'm working on the current layer, which is the background copy. And what you're going to do is you can just hit the Alt key, and this can be used to get rid of any blemishes like so. So you're hitting Alt to sample the area that you want to go around, and then you're basically just using it. So it can be used to kind of erase these laugh lines that have been creased in the makeup, but also can be used for blemishes as well. This is just a quick thing to know if you're retouching skin. It's going to make it a little bit easier when we use the soften brush for her skin as a Photoshop action. All right, so I've pretty much gotten rid of most of what I want to here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the difference. So all we did was just get rid of a few blemishes. So the first Photoshop action I'm going to be using is frequency separation, which is actually can be a little bit complicated. But the thing with these actions is that it makes it really easy, especially if you're new to Photoshop, to edit your photographs. And if you're not really familiar with how to create layers and masks, the actions in this collection pretty much do it for you. So I'm going to go to the From a Candy Store here, and I'm hitting the frequency separation. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. All right, so basically this is just giving me a dialog box here telling me to select the skin textures I want to and use the Gaussian Blur to kind of correct them. Okay, so you're going to open the frequency separation folder and you want to get the layer that says LF, so the low frequency. And you're going to be selecting the lasso tool right here. And basically I use this in problematic areas, kind of like where you can see pores generally right here. You're going to hit your filters tab up here and we're going down to blur and we're going to open the Gaussian blur. And as you can see you can adjust the blur but as you adjust it, it of course becomes more noticeable. So we are staying down on the lower end here and I'm going to put it at about 3.7 pixels and I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm just going to use the lasso tool in different areas to use the frequency separation to smooth out her skin. And once you've used the Gaussian Blur already, it's going to appear here as your most recently used filter, so you can just go ahead and click it. So frequency separation doesn't make a huge difference, but it does do something, especially. It just might not be as noticeable. All right, so I've gone ahead and applied that. So I'm going to close the folder, and what I'm going to do is this little eye icon right here will be able to... If you can kind of see, it's very hard to see. Just look right here. If I click it on and click it off, you can see there's a tiny difference. But if that's not enough for you, I'm going to show you another tool. So first thing I'm going to do is... Uh, right select the or right click the background layer here and flatten the image. And then I'm going to scroll up to where we have the portrait retouch actions and I'm going to be using the soft glow skin. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Basically the dialog box is telling me to select the black mask on the layer and use a white soft brush at 100% to smooth the subject's skin. So I have the black layer mask selected. I have my brush set here on white. 
and it wants you to put it on 100%, but you can do whatever you want, any opacity. So I'm going to be up around 53 because I don't want our skin to be too polished. I want it to still have texture and look like skin. And then you're basically just going to run this all over the areas that you feel need to be smoothed out. All right, so, and you can see on the layer mask here where I've actually used the brush. So if I just use the eye, you can see it's added an even tone to her skin and just smoothed it out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and flatten this again. The next thing I'm gonna retouch are her eyes. So I'm gonna use the brighten eyes and hit play. And basically it's telling me I've got to select the layer mask here. And the, I've got my brush already set on white and set the opacity. It's telling you right here, 20. it says 20% brush. That doesn't mean it's automatically set to 20%. So you do wanna go up to the opacity and set it yourself. And you can go ahead and lower the size of your brush, which you can do up here, or you can use the bracket keys on your computer. I'm sorry, I accidentally had the layer mask selected, but you should be selecting this one right here. And then as you can see, if I just run over her eyes, it's just gonna go ahead and brighten them up. All right, so I'm done with that. The next thing I'm going to do is retouch her lips by using the Portrait Retouch Glossy Lips Action. So I'm going to hit play. This dialog box is telling me to paint over the lips with a white brush at 100 opacity. And if you want to keep it subtle, you can reduce the opacity. So I hit continue. The layer mask is selected. My brush is set to white. And I'm setting the opacity at 75. And I'm basically just going to use this on her lips here, which is kind of just adding a nice color and gloss effect. And it's masking a little bit the fact that her lips are kind of chapped. All right, so I've gone ahead and applied that brush. Now I'm gonna flatten the image. Real quick, I'm gonna duplicate the layer again. Going back to the spot healing brush, I'm just gonna use the spot healing brush to kind of heal out some of these little cracks in her lips so her lips don't really look that chapped. And I'm just gonna hit a few more spots on her skin here. All right, I'm gonna flatten this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use the dodge and burn action to contour her face and really bring out features like her irises and her makeup as well. So if you scroll down to the From a Candy Store, you're gonna be choosing the dodge and burn and you're gonna go ahead and hit play. So here it'll show you, you have your burn and your dodge. So first I'm gonna start with the burn and I'm going to select my brush so I have my paintbrush selected on white. I have the layer mask selected here and I'm gonna turn my burn all the way down to 20%. And I'm gonna make my brush slightly bigger. So the areas where I would use the burn is first I'm gonna use it to contour her face. So right under the cheekbones here, actually 20% is a little too high. So I'm gonna undo the brush tool and I'm gonna lower it to like 14. So right under the cheekbone, here and kind of in a C motion going this way and then you're going to use it up on the temples up here along the jawline and then you're going to make your brush a little bit smaller and you can use the burn to kind of burn these shadows so you're going to do two lines basically from her nose up to her eyebrows here and that will really kind of contour her nose other areas where I like to use the burn tool is I like to get in pretty close here, make my brush pretty small. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. 
And then I kind of like to use it on the edge of the iris here because it's really going to make that blue pop out. All right, so I'm also going to use the burn tool to kind of burn in her eyebrows a little bit because strong eyebrows are a pretty popular trend right now. And I'm going to use it once more to darken her eye makeup, which will actually kind of make her blue eyes stand out. All right, so now I'm going to select the dodge here. Same thing, my brush is set to white. I have the opacity set at 22. I'm going to set it just a tiny bit higher. And I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger. So when you're contouring and you're using the dodge tool, we're adding light. So we're going to first add light under her eyes here to kind of get rid of the dark circles. And we're going to do so in an inverted triangle. Okay, then I do kind of a line up the bridge of the nose here. And then what you're going to do is kind of the, and in another inverted triangle, you are kind of highlighting the forehead here in the middle. You're going to want to highlight the chin right here. Another place to highlight is make your brush real small, and you want to highlight the cupid's bow here. And another place I like to add a little bit of highlight is right in the center of the bottom lip here, which will kind of give a fuller look to the lips. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and flatten the image. I'm going to duplicate the layer, and I'm going to show you guys one more thing. I did use the dodge tool under her eyes to get rid of circles, but if you do have someone who has pretty intense circles, what you can do is you can use the clone stamp tool. So you can choose this, and you want to set your opacity probably around like 30. You're going to hit your Alt key to sample the skin that's directly under the eye. And then you're just going to kind of use that to kind of get rid of the dark circles or bags under your portrait's eyes. And with this one line in here, I can even get in here with the spot healing tool and just kind of clean that up as well. All right, so I'm just about done with that photograph. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the original one. All right, so here is the original. So as you can see, we've made quite a difference. We've brightened up her eyes, we've smoothed out her skin and her skin tone, we've gotten rid of blemishes, we've kind of taken care of her chapped lips here and added a nice glossy feel to them. And overall, we've just retouched the portrait. So I'm going to be showing you guys one more retouch. Photograph right here. I'm going to do the same thing as I started with before, duplicating the layer. And I'm going to use the spot healing brush to get rid of any marks. And she doesn't have many. Looks like maybe a small scar here. And a tiny few blemishes up here, but her skin is pretty clear. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the Photoshop actions. So I'm not going to use any of the these yet. Actually, I'm going to scroll up first and I'm going to be using the portrait retouch actions. And before I showed you how you could use them individually, you can also choose the portrait retouch fast retouch and hit play. And what that's going to do is open all these options for you so you can switch between them. So I'm going to start with the soft skin smoother. And I have my opacity set down at 27. The reason I have it set so low is because she has really, really nice freckles. And I don't want to kind of smooth her skin so much that I get rid of those because they are a nice facial feature. But we're just gently using it to kind of just smooth out her skin a tiny bit. All right, now I'm going to be using the white and teeth and eyes. So I've gone ahead and selected that. I'm going to turn the opacity up on that one. 
And then I'm going to be using this on the whites of her eyes here. And this will take care of any kind of redness or any dull gray tones that you might have in the whites of the eyes here. And it'll also take care of any kind of yellow tones that you have in teeth. So now I'm going to be using the bright sparkly eyes. All I do is select the layer mask. And I can go ahead, I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit. And use this right over her eyes here. Alright, so you can see if I take it away how her eyes get a little bit duller and same with the skin. You also have the option to add a rosy blush, but I'm not going to do that because she already has a good amount of blush. But I'm going to go ahead and flatten the image here. Then I'm going to go to my Photoshop action, the glossy lips again, and hit play. And I'm doing the same thing, I have the layer mask selected, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to her lips here. Alright, the last thing we're going to do is go down to our, from a candy store, we're using the Dodge and Burn again. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Again, I'm using the Burn at a really low opacity to contour her face. So kind of under the cheekbones here, up around the temples, the jawline, and right here in the bridge of the nose. Not the bridge, I'm sorry, the sides here. Now I'm going to be using the dodge tool at a higher opacity. So we're using it under the eyes here on the bridge of the nose and up here on the forehead a little bit on the chin right here in the cupid's bow and as i mentioned i like to do the center of the lip here going back to my burn tool i'm going to kind of just burn her eyebrows a little bit here And I'm going to go in and use the tool really small to kind of add a little bit of burning into her iris, which will give me a sort of multi-dimensional feeling to her eyes here, especially with the color. All right, so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and flatten the image. I'm going to use one more action. I'm going to be using the From a Candy Store Sharpen, so I'm going to go ahead and hit play. So this brush is just great to use all over. So I'm going to turn the opacity up. And this is great to especially use on eyes because you want eyes to be really sharp and crisp. Same with the lips. And I'm just going to kind of generally sweep it over her face here. All right. So I'm going to bring up the before. All right, so as you can see, we've made a little bit of a difference. Before, you know, her skin isn't too awful, but we've brightened up the eyes. We've contoured her face. We've added a little bit of the glossy lips here. We've sharpened up her eyes as well. And we've kind of removed these little blemishes up here and these scars right here. So you can see there is a difference. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to retouch facial features and skin and that you'll be able to try it with your Portrait Perfections collection.